Let's talk about a JoJo character many players love and many players love to hate. Beowulf. Beowulf is a 4-star berserker with a fairly straightforward kit. He's got a triple buster deck and a buster NP, and a fairly high attack stat at 10.2k. He excels at pretty much one thing, and that's damage from his incredibly strong noble phantasm, Grendel Buster. His first skill, Berserk, provides a massive one-turn buff, 30% attack up and 20% NP up when maxed. He also has an NP interlude, which together with his attack stat give him the highest NP damage of any 4-star servant in the game, outclassing many 5-star servants in the process. The big trade-off here is that Berserk is only a one-turn buff, and his other two skills are mostly useless. His second skill is Intuition, or Instinct, and he has no way of absorbing the stars it creates due to his Berserker star weight. He also has Battle Continuation, which can allow him to survive an NP in an emergency, but it doesn't exactly leave him with much health to work with afterwards, unless you max that skill. But you're not going to do that. I know you won't. Beowulf did recently get a buff in the Japanese version of the game, but I won't say any more because I do not play JP and I am not qualified to talk about it. This video is about Beowulf as he stands in the English version of FGO. Beowulf's first skill provides an attack up and an NP up, which means to get the most value out of Beowulf's NP you're going to want to pair him with a buster up from an external source. The Anniversary Blonde Mystic Code is an obvious choice with an on-call 60% buster up. It also makes a ton of stars, which means if you pop its instant star gen at the same time as Beowulf's instinct, you might actually make enough stars for Beowulf to get some of them. Maybe. Beowulf is pretty much a one-turn wonder. He has very explosive single turns, followed by a bunch of not much between them. If you've used Merlin's hero creation, this probably sounds familiar. Beowulf is extremely squishy, so if you're running him outside of a simple 3 turn farming setup, you might want to use Mash to protect him. Speaking of farming setups, if you're an F2P player, then you're probably lacking a good high damage single target caster, for which Beowulf can act as a good substitute. Free quests like Babylonia Kutha occasionally contain massive ghosts, which Beowulf can annihilate better than any of the caster options available. The same can also be said to a lesser extent about Lancers. Jaguar Warrior is the only decently high damage budget single target Lancer, and most of us will have her at NP1 because she's story locked. So use Beowulf as your designated Gazer Killer. Outside of farming setups, Beowulf synergizes well with everyone's favorite fucking loser idiot, Merlin. Merlin provides the bus drop that Beowulf wants, as well as everything else that Merlin does. Beowulf's NP gain isn't bad, but he still only has one arts card, and relying on Merlin for NP gain makes his job a lot easier. Much of the same can be said about Waver too. He also helps build Beowulf's NP and gives him the buffs he wants. There is always Hans, though Shakespeare works a little bit better here. He has a bus drop and a targeted battery, both of which are very helpful to Beowulf's job. Not that Hans doesn't help him, but Hans tends to work better with servants who can crit, which Beowulf doesn't. If you want Beowulf to crit, you can always use Leonidas, whose kit does synergize as well with Beowulf's. Team-wide bus drop, taunt to protect him, and he even makes a lot of stars with his NP. If you combine that with Beowulf's instinct, you might actually make enough stars for Beowulf to get some of them. Maybe. Nightingale works well as a third member of this team because she also has no star weight, can heal Leonidas, and provides Buster up to Beowulf to help out his big boom. If you're looking at CE choices, the Black Grail increases his already high NP damage to astronomical levels. Other options are Hero Ellie's Adventure, Partake with the King, Golden Sumo, or MLB for Sunrise if you got wrecked by the New Year's Musashi banner. The biggest complaint about Beowulf is that his damage is all concentrated on one turn, and so he gets kneecapped by break bars. This doesn't mean you can't run him, but you have to adjust your team comp to be more defensive in order to babysit him during his downtime. Many other big buster boom servants have one turn buffs, like Rama, so this shouldn't really come as that much of a surprise, and you can still treat him like a more standard buster DPS. If you've been watching the background at all, then you'll notice I'm using him against the Salter Memorial Challenge Quest. I just have to break her three bars, one at a time. Anyway, that's all I have for this. Let's talk. Have fun smacking things with Grendel Buster. Until next time, the bomb's in out.